All right, what's going on YouTube? Focus Hands here. And uh, today we're, we're going to be looking at um, how to uh, properly, I guess in my case, properly gap the piston rings for the pistons, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and we're gonna go over the mathematics uh, for what the manufacturer says that I should do for the car and uh, how that all makes sense using the feeler gauge. So uh, get out your calculators and uh, let's get started. Stay tuned. Bye. 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 For starters, uh, this right here, this right here is the information sheet that I have for the piston um, installation. And here is the info for the piston. I'm going with a 3.503 um, inch bore or 89 millimeters. It's the stock bore size or the stock piston for the uh, 2.5 obviously the piss is forged but um, if you're trying to get a piston set for the 2.5 um, this 2.5 here you can safely get the 89 millimeter one and be fine uh, now saying that we want to look at that number, that 3.503 uh, and or 89 millimeters. It'll come into play here in a second. We want to look at the second sheet here, uh, which explains basically the piston uh, to cylinder wall clearance, what that means, uh, recommended gaps, what that means, and it gives you some factors depending on what application you're gonna do with the car. So if you're gonna do street performance, then you're gonna multiply your bore diameter by that, uh, I'm gonna say 0 0.0045. Since I'm going to turbo my car moderately, a moderately modest turbo, I'm gonna factor my bore diameter by 0 0.0050. And we're going to do that math here now. All right, so this is the second ring set. So I'm going to write uh, cylinder two on here. And what, what I know, or what we just talked about, was the uh, bore size for these pistons are get what I can see and shoot same time are 89 millimeters or 3.503 make sure that's correct uh, inches okay so in order to find the ring gap we need for the cylinder and the piston we need to multiply the That was getting annoying. We have to multiply the 3.503 times the uh, factor, which is 0 0.0050, and that equals some number in. Put it in our calculator here. So Three point five zero three times zero point zero zero five zero equals a number of zero point zero one seven five inches. Okay, and if you did this using millimeters, you would do it this way. 
you would go you would go 89 millimeters times the factor of 0 0.005 which would equal some number in I think like 0 0.445 which is 89 times 0 0.0050 yeah 0.445 0 0.445 and then you divide this number based off what they say here on the sheet you divide that number if you had it in millimeters by 25.4 so you take that number and divide it by 25.4 divide by 25.4 and that would give you the same number 0 0.175 which equals 0 0.0175 um, and this will be back in inches so we know that our top ring our top ring needs to be 0 0.0175 inches now I'm going to flip to the back here. So this is going to be the top ring. We'll flip to the back here and we're going to do the secondary ring. So the SR ring. So we know that the secondary ring is uh, according to the sheet. So again, everything is according to the sheet here. You multiply the first ring gap times 1.25. So the first ring gap, the top ring gap, was 0 0.0175. Uh, so we're going to multiply 0 0.0175 times 1.25 according to the sheet. Times this by 1.25. And we get a SR gap inch rating of 0 0.0218 inches. So this is what we are looking for um, when we go to use our feeler gauge to see where or how much gap is uh, on these piston rings. So. I have already done the ones for piston one and I need to gap. I think I'm off by 0 0.10 uh, inches or uh, thousandths of an inch, which I have to gr use a grinder this coming Wednesday to do it. Um, what we're going to do now is go to cylinder two, as it says here, and we're going to see where we stand on uh, the gapping. So stay tuned. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on the cylinder wall, on the secondary cylinder wall, um, to make it easier for the uh, rings to slide in and out. I don't want to put too much, but just enough. And I'm also going to go ahead and just oil all these. to make it easier for the piston rings to slide in. All right, so with that done, go over again. I'm gonna change gloves. We'll continue. All right, so I've got the new gloves on. We're gonna come over and take our top piston ring, which you would know the difference, it's actually thicker and uh, pretty much uh, a harder material so this is the top piston ring and how we put it in to test it is you want to squeeze it just a little bit not a lot just a little bit to get it inside the cylinder like that and then we're going to use a piston to center it I'm going to take my piston here just going to put it in place and push down on it like that to get it in the cylinder, in the walls a little bit. So now we have the cylinder down in the wall, in the cylinder wall. I'm gonna see if I can switch you around here. 
Give you a better viewing angle. There we go. I'm gonna zoom you in. All right. So now the cylinder, now the piston rings in the cylinder wall. We're gonna take our feeler gauge here, and for the top ring, we need a number to be uh, 0.445 or 0 0.0175 so we're going to look for those numbers and you know there's 26 blades on here so we just got to kind of find it so here is zero 0 0.017 uh, or uh, 0 0.4, 0 0.432. So the top one is inches, the bottom one is in millimeters. So we're going to stick this in here and see if it slides in. And if it does, that means that we're good on the top ring. And it does slide in. So our gapping for the top ring. Uh, is actually pretty good. We don't need to gap, do any more gapping. Now, we're going to take this ring out. And that is just, you kind of pull up and easily take it out. We're going to do the same thing for the secondary ring. So you want to guide it in and let it, and let it go. like that there we go I'm gonna get the piston ring and push it down oh, the piston and push it down take the piston line it up and center it just like that I'm gonna keep this piston over here for now all right so now that we're down in the cylinder, make sure we're seated. We are. I'm going to take the filler gauge. And this one is supposed to be 0 0.021. Let's make sure. SR. SR ring should be 0 0.0218. That is... What we should be reading so we're going to go over to 0 0.021 which is right here uh 0.533 millimeters if we do it in the millimeters and we're going to see if it fits and i can already see that it doesn't fit it doesn't fit and i bet you that the 0.10 is the one that fits for this. So let's take this one. This is the uh, point one zero. Yeah, so we have a lot to take off for this one as well. So, I mean, it looks like, it looks like for each one of these, the top ring seems to be fine, but the secondary ring seems to be the one that needs the grinding. And that's pretty much how you do that when you're calculating the uh, the gap and seeing what the actual feeler gauge is showing for your gap in here. It's pretty cool. Stay tuned. Now we're going to move on to uh, cylinder number three. And we're going to take out our piston ring here. Our our top piston ring and just like the first two I'm going to 
this. Position it down in there. Rotate it in. And then we're going to get our piston to center it. Just like so. Okay, so now we'll take our feeler gauge and we will go out to uh, point zero one seven and see if it slides in. And if it does, that means that the top ring is okay. Yeah. Top ring is fine. That's good. Take this out. Position just like this. Down. Squeeze it a little bit. Not too much to deform it. Rotate it in. Take the piston, push it down. All right, now we'll take our feeler. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start at it because I have a good idea that it will not fit. So I'm going to start at the point one zero and see. Yeah, so point one zero fits. That means that the two won't. So this one also needs work. So we can take that out and test the last one. All right, so now we're on to cylinder four. And again, position it. Down, rotate, and then we'll grab the piston, center it, push it in a bit. Get the feeler gauge should be at uh, point zero one seven. find it point zero one seven actually zero point one seven or no point zero one seven boy okay so we'll fit it in here and see it does goes in it's a little snug, but I think that's fine. Uh, so we're good on that one. And we'll test the uh, secondary ring. Again, down in the hole. Take the piston. Push it in so that it's um, parallel. And again, it already looking at it, the point uh, zero to one is not going to fit. Uh, so we're going to try the point zero uh, one zero. See if it fits in there, and it does. So I can already tell you that we have a lot of grinding to do for the secondary uh, piston ring. And that's okay. At least now we know, um, and we don't have to guess 
and we we had taken out the lessening the risk for having blowouts on the engine because you know we're running a turbo so you definitely want to get this right you want to take your time when doing this uh, do your calculations check them twice uh, and you know we'll go from there in the next episode I will be grinding down the uh, piston rings and uh, making sure they're all good and installing those piston rings something in my crankshaft and installing those piston rings um, onto the piston and essentially installing the pistons onto the block and we'll kind of start working our way up as we move through so uh with that said uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and uh check out if you're you know excited about this build or you want to take this project on yourself trust me you can do it i'm doing it and i'm learning as i'm going uh i didn't i didn't know how to calculate uh piston gap and or put this stuff in until yesterday uh, but you know I'm a really really quick learner so that's uh, that's something going for me uh, I wish you the best of luck I, I know that you can do it so if I can do it I know you can do it um, this is my very first engine build and hopefully it goes well I guess we'll find out real soon if if I uh, if I can do this you know uh, that first engine start it tells a tale of the whole story so, with that said, I will see you all in the next episode real soon. Stay safe. Happy holidays. Focus Tens out. Peace.